This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, August 22nd. It looks like all of the financial markets are performing as if there are lessened geopolitical issues. We are seeing stock index futures substantially higher today. Also, we did get a bit of a boost in the indices after we did have one better than expected economic report. So good gains today for no apparent reason. That in itself should be viewed as a sign of strength. Still thinking that longer term, once the geopolitical issues settle down and the problems in Washington are alleviated to some degree, hopefully that traders will again refocus their attention on the low interest rate environment, not just here in the U.S., but overseas, and that should sustain the bull market in stock index futures. Over in the currencies, the dollar index advancing and the flight to quality currencies, such as the Japanese yen and the Swiss franc, under a little pressure today. Also, we had a little weakness in the euro currency with some weaker than expected economic numbers there. Longer term, though, we still feel that the dollar index is headed lower. I think within the next couple of months, we will see a new round of lows for the dollar and a new round of highs for the move in the euro currency. Interest rate markets performing as if uh, some flight to quality longs are being liquidated with the 30-year bonds under some pressure. So no real ideas there as far as what to do with the interest rate markets. We remain neutral there. However, the gold market, although a bit lower today, has put in some very strong gains as of late. We feel that the main trend is higher and breaks of this nature today, about $5 lower, should be used as a buying opportunity also, just recently, we did take out a double top pattern on the weekly charts at 12.95. So continue to look for higher prices in the gold market. This is a trend that should last through this year and well into next year. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.